Dear students, today we are going to discuss a topic which is very relevant to the health of our body. The topic is porphyrin. Introduction Porphyrins are cyclic compounds formed by the linkage of four pyrrole rings through methane breezes. A characteristic property of the porphyrins is a formation of complexes with metal ions bound to the nitrogen atom of the pyrrole rings. In animals, iron porphyrins such as him are used as intermediates in the biosynthesis of hemoglobin, myoglobin, and other respiratory pigments called cytochromes. The photosynthetic pigment of plants, that is chlorophyll, is a magnesium containing porphyrin. Understanding the biochemistry of the porphyrins and of him in particular is basic to understanding the varied functions of hemoproteins in our body. The porphyrias are a group of diseases resulting from the abnormalities in the pathway of biosynthesis of the various porphyrins. The clinical condition jaundice is caused due to the elevated level of bilirubin in the plasma. Bilirubin is a byproduct of heme catabolism. Chemistry of porphyrins structure. All porphyrins reported so far from nature have their side chains substituted for the eight hydrogen atoms found in the four pyrrole rings that make up porphyrin. The common substituents present in the natural porphyrins are acetate, propionate, methyl, and vinyl groups. Porphyrin rings are numbered with Roman numerals first through fourth, starting at the twelfth and proceeding clockwise. The methyl rings are later with Greek letters alpha through delta, again proceeding clockwise. Position at which substituents could be attached are numbered 1 to 8, starting with the first ring and proceeding clockwise. The structure is often represented in a cross shaped shorthand form. The nitrogen atoms of a porphyrin ring occupy the four sides of the square plane of an octahedron, leaving the two empty sides on the top and the bottom. These two sides are then filled by the axial ligands, which are known to react in special ways. By using the biological system, carry out a wide range of chemical reactions. Porphyrins are stable compounds, red-violet to red-brown in color, that fluoresce red when excited by light near 400 nanometer. The reduced forms of porphyrins are termed porphyrinogenes, the functional form of the compound that must be used in him synthesis. Nomenclature. Four positional isomers may exist for every profiling compound. The four isomers distinguished by Roman numerals first, second, third, and fourth applied to these substituent profiling rings number and oriented when substituent A is smaller than substituent B. However, only type 1 and type 3 occur in nature and the type 3 series is far more abundant than more important because it includes him. The difference between types 1 and 3 isomers is in the arrangement of the chains. In type 3 porphyrin, the arrangement of substituents is asymmetric. An example of type 3 porphyrin is uroporphyrin. On the other hand, a porphyrin with a completely symmetric arrangement of the substituents is classified as type 1 porphyrin. Only type 3 isomers form him. However, in some disorders, the function less type 1 isomers may be present in the excess in the tissue. The names of the porphyrins consist of a word and a number. For example, in uroporphyrin 3, the word is uroporphyrin and the number is 3. The word denotes the kinds of substituents found in the ring and the number denotes how they are arranged. The oxidation state of the metal ion and the identity of the negatively charged counter ion determine the name of the product. In series 1, the substituents repeat in a regular manner, for example, A, P, A, P, A, P, starting with ring 1. In series 3, the order of substituents in ring 4 is reversed. AP, 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 
PA. Clinically important porphyrins. Only three porphyrins are clinically significant in humans. They are europorphyrin, coproporphyrin, and protoporphyrin. Their presence in aqueous and biological fluids is a clinical sign of abnormal heme synthesis. The three compounds have different solubility properties and different degrees of ionization determined by the addition of various carboxyl groups to the basic profile structure. This allows for separate assays of each. Europrofilin is excreted primarily in urine, protoprofilin in the feces, and coproprofilin in either, depending on the rate of formation of the urine and its pH. Next, biosynthesis of porphyrins. All cells contain hemoproteins and can synthesize heme. However, the bone marrow and liver are the main site. Some steps occur in the mitochondria of the cell and some steps occur in the cytoplasm. The transport of substrates across the mitochondria membrane is a complex process and potential point for interruptions in the heme synthesis. Non-photosynthetic eukaryotes such as animals, insects, fungi and protozoa as well as the alpha proteobacteria group of bacteria, the committed steps for providing biosynthesis is the formation of delta aminolevulinic acid by the reaction of the amino acid glycine with succinyl CoA from the citric acid cycle. This reaction is catalyzed by delta aminolevulinic synthase. In plants, algae, bacteria other than proteobacteria group and archaea, it is produced from glutamic acid via glutamyl tRNA and glutamate 1 semi-aldehyde. The enzymes involved in this pathway are glutamyl tRNA synthetase, glutamyl tRNA reductase, glutamate 1 semi-aldehyde to 1 amino mutase. In all organisms, Two molecules of delta aminolevinate condensed to form porphyrinogen, and through a series of complex enzymatic reactions, four molecules of porphyrinogen come together to form protoporphyrin. The iron atom is incorporated after the protoporphyrin has been assembled in a step catalyzed by ferrocatalase. This molecule undergoes a number of further modifications. Intermediates are used in different species to form particular substances, but in humans, the main end product, protoporphyrin 9, is common with iron to form heme. Porphyrin biosynthesis is regulated in higher eukaryotes by heme, which serves as a feedback inhibitor of early steps in the synthetic pathway. Genetic defects in the biosynthesis of porphyrins can lead to the accumulation of pathway intermediates, causing a variety of human diseases known collectively as porphyrias. It appears that him probably acting through an aporepression molecule acts as a negative regulator of the delta aminolevulinate synthase. Next, clinical significance and disease correlation. The porphyries are inherited or acquired enzyme deficiencies that result in overproduction of heme precursors in the bone marrow. Erythropoietic porphyries or the liver hepatic porphyries. Disease states corresponding to enzyme de deficiencies have been identified in every step of heme synthesis. The porphyries are dose porphyria, acute intermittent porphyria, congenital erythropoietic porphyria, porphyria cutanea tarda, hereditary corporal porphyria, variegate porphyria, and erythropoietic protoporphyria. Some patients demonstrate an enzyme deficiency but do not show clinical or biochemical manifestations of porphyria, indicating that other factors such as demand for increased heme biosynthesis are also important in causing disease expression. Next, do test for porphyrias. How do we test the presence of porphyria or 
uh, what are the causes of porphyria. So we need to do tests for porphyria. The diagnosis of porphyria is met by a combination of history and physical and laboratory findings. The cutaneous porphyria are easier to diagnose because photosensitivity is usually the presenting symptom. Laboratory diagnosis, if necessary, is met by the analysis of the appropriate sample for intermediates in the heme synthesis. Screening and quantitative tests for porphyrins in urine, blood, and feces are based on the enhanced fluorescence of these compounds in acidic solution. When porphyrins dissolve in strong mineral acids or in organic solvents are illuminated by ultraviolet light, they emit a strong red fluorescence. This fluorescence is so characteristic that it is often used to detect small amounts of free porphyrins. It is hoped that treatment of the porphyrias at the gene level will become possible. In the meantime, treatment is essentially symptomatic. Degradation of porphyrins. The iron porphyrin growth of hemoglobin released from dying erythrocytes in the spleen is degraded to yield a free ferrous ion and ultimately bilirubin. The first step in the two-step pathway catalyzed by heme oxygenase converts heme to biliverdin, a linear tetraferol derivative. The other products of the reaction are free ferrous ion and carbon monoxide. The ferrous ion is quickly bound by ferritin. Carbon monoxide is a poison that binds the hemoglobin and the production of carbon monoxide. Heme oxygenase ensures that even in the absence of environmental exposure, about 1% of individuals' heme is complex with carbon monoxide. Biliverdin is converted to bilirubin in the second step, catalyzed by biliverdin reductase. When we are bruised, the black or purple color results from the hemoglobin released from damaged erythrocytes. Over time, the color changes to the green of biliverdin and then to the yellow of bilirubin. Bilirubin is largely insoluble and it travels in the bloodstream as a complex with serum albumin. In liver, bilirubin is transformed to the bile pigment bilirubin diglucuronide. This product is sufficiently water soluble to be secreted with components of bile into the small intestine, where microbial enzymes convert it to several products, predominantly urobilinogen. Some urobilinogen is reabsorbed into the blood and transported to the kidney, where it is converted to urobilin, the compound that gives urine its yellow color. Urobilinogen remaining in the intestine is converted in another microbe dependent reaction to starcobilin, which imparts the red-brown color to feces. Impaired liver function or blocked vial secretion causes bilirubin to leak from the liver into the blood, resulting in a yellowing of the skin and eyeballs, a condition called jaundice. In cases of jaundice, determination of the concentration of bilirubin in the blood may be useful in the diagnosis of underlying liver disease. New infants sometimes develop jaundice because they have not yet produced enough glucuronyl bilirubin transferase to process their bilirubin. A traditional treatment to reduce excess bilirubin exposure to a fluorescent lamp causes a photochemical conversion of bilirubin to compounds that are more soluble and easily excreted. Coming to the conclusion, porphyrins are compounds that contain the porphyrin structure that is four pyrrole rings connected by methane bridges in a cyclic configuration to which a variety of side chains are attached. Porphyrins often chelate metal ions iron, magnesium, cobalt, zinc, copper, nickel, etc. Examples include heme of which is part of important proteins like myoglobin, 
hemoglobin cytochromes and related macrocycles including chlorophylls which are essential magnesium ion. Porphyrin biosynthesis occurs in almost all types of organisms. The main product in porphyrin biosynthesis is delta amino levulinate. Animals and plants use different precursors and enzymes for delta amino levulinate synthesis. Deficiency of enzymes of porphyrin biosynthesis causes porphyrias. Accumulation of breakdown production of porphyrins also causes a clinical condition called jaundice.